Hi Leo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and we're here to do your June reading. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We are just going to see what comes up. Keep in mind that this reading may or may not be for you. Sometimes it will resonate, sometimes it won't. Okay, so this is for Leo. We're going to get one of these for an overall energy. We're going to see what comes up. What do we have for Leo? Hmm. You know, you got to put yourself out there, Leo. Maybe you need to get out there and socialize a little bit. You know, uh, maybe you need to let your friends help you. Maybe you need to go out with your friends. Maybe you need to just, well, this is socialize. There's, there's not enough people in your life. Okay, maybe you need to let some people in. I am going to flip it over. You, you saw it come out reverse. So there's lack of people. There's lack of support. You know, you need to let somebody support you. Ask your friends for support. Get out there. Live again. Have some fun. If you get invited to go out, if you get invited to socialize, you get invited to go to a party or to go out with your friends, go. Go. There may be something there that, you know, makes you really happy. This is a card of happiness, okay? Got for Leo. King of Cups and the Page of Wands. So you're going to be receiving a message from somebody. Okay? This is an exciting message. Maybe even an invitation. Isn't that funny? This is an invitation. An invitation to go out. Okay, you do it. You go. Say you go. You go. You 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 know. There's there's somebody here that has good intentions that could be offering you something emotional. Okay, emotional support. I don't know. But this is a message coming in. It's a very positive message. It could be a new suitor. If you are single, this could be somebody new coming into your life that is perfect for you. This is a really good match. Okay. Um, but you need to broaden your horizons. You need to take a new approach. Bruh, major new beginning. And it's funny because while I was shuffling and I said, what do we have for Leo? You know, when I was shuffling the cards. This is, I, I saw major new beginning in my head. That's what I saw, major new beginning. But I didn't say it. And here we are. This is what you got. And that is what I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to title this. Because I should have just said it. You know, you, you, you do. This is one phase of your life has ended a big phase. And a new one is beginning. Something significant. It's like you've learned some sort of lesson. Okay? Because this is a lesson has been learned. And now you're about to embark on the next one. Okay? This is, a, this is, this is starting a, a, a brand new uh, chapter. Something big has ended, and you're about to begin a big phase, a new phase. Whatever this phase is, there's potential for growth. It's exciting. There's going to be emotional support from somebody. Okay, if this isn't you, okay, this is the King of Cups. This is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. It doesn't have to be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We all have water in our charts, okay? This is somebody who has good intent intentions and is emotionally balanced. This person has love to offer, offer, okay? So it could be you or it could be somebody that's coming into your life. We do have a major new beginning here. You need to make a decision, though. The Seven of Cups, this is make a clear choice. Make a clear decision and stick to it. And I just got to throw something out here. As I was talking, this is your past. This is in your past position. And this could be you. 
looking at the past. Be careful with that. Now that this card has come up, you know, make a clear decision and stick to it. Are, are you done looking at the past? Are you? Have you learned your lesson? I mean, have you? Consider that. Consider that. Consider your options, okay? Because if you keep looking back at the past, if you keep looking back at something, you know, it's just going to keep you stuck. And this is divided loyalty. So you, and on one hand, you may be ready to, to broaden your horizons and focus on the future. But on the other hand, you may keep looking at the past. Don't turn your back on a new beginning because you're lonely. Don't don't keep that blindfold on. Take that blindfold off and focus on the future, please. This is blocking. Somebody is is blocking a new beginning. And I think it's because this is this represents you. You somebody and this is the past. Are you looking at a person that you loved in the past or that loved you? You know? Going back and forth. Mm. Now, this is hidden agendas. The high priestess reversed. This is somebody with hidden agendas. This is somebody that's not following their their intuition, not listening to their gut, may not be aware of, you know, endings happen for a reason, okay? Somebody may not be aware that there's a new beginning right over. This is around the corner. Right around the corner, there's a major new beginning. Maybe somebody's just not aware of that. Ooh, the devil reverse. This is taking back control, breaking free from an unhealthy situation. Make the decision to break free from things that don't serve you. Don't keep going back to unhealthy, toxic situations because of codependency. There is codependency, and this is codependency as well. The King of Cups does tend to be very codependent. I'm just being honest with you. There's codependency here. There's, there's a need to break free from an unhealthy situation that you have been bound to due to karma. You need to find your strength to cut that cord, to stop looking back. Don't go back to something that's unhealthy because you're lonely, because you're codependent. Break free. Mm. Well. I can see why this wasn't reversed. Because it's like you guys don't put in the effort to put yourself out there. And therefore you get yourself into predicaments that keep you restricted, that, that block you from happiness. This is happiness. Happiness is blocked because you're, it's like you need to put in the effort. This is getting distracted too. This page of wands gets distracted easily. Don't get distracted, please. Protect yourself. You, I mean, some, somebody is thinking about going back to somebody that criticized them, somebody that fought with them, somebody that, you know, didn't really put in a lot of effort. An unhealthy situation where there was, it's like unrequited love, but it's somebody, right? It's somebody it's to say, you know, I got somebody. This is wasting time. Somebody is wasting their time. I mean, they should be just focusing on the future. There's indecisiveness here with these two cards. Make a decision and stick to it.
this is a blessing and this is a blessing even the nine of cups reversed this is there's an opportunity and i'm getting the goosebumps there's hope there's hope for you to get exactly what you wish for it's a time of renewal You have a major new beginning waiting for you, but you have to make the decision to not go back to something that is unhealthy. Seriously. Your prayers will be answered if you can stick to your guns, okay? Stick to it. Stick to it, please. If you are single, a, you, you may be meeting somebody that you could develop a very, very deep bond with. But you don't block it. Don't block it from happening by looking back at the past, please. I think somebody is coming into your life that you will have a deep bond with. It's something that you have been praying for, something that you have wished for, but you have to pass some sort of test and not go back to an unhealthy situation. This is wish fulfillment. This is wish fulfillment. The, a wish will be granted if you can pass this test, whatever it is. Things are going to start looking up for you, but you got to have hope. Don't lose hope because things don't happen overnight. You got to have that new perspective. Don't sacrifice yourself needlessly for an unrequited love situation where there's no future when you can have everything that you want. I'm serious, you can. But you gotta you gotta face struggle. You gotta face alone alone time. And I can see it's a lot of it's like there's codependency here. There absolutely is. You know. You don't need somebody to complete you. The Nine of Pentacles is somebody, I don't want to be alone. I, I just don't want to be alone. Well, you want to you want to you want to wear a blindfold? You want to pretend this is avoiding, okay? You want to pretend that everything is good, everything is happy when everything is not. The Nine of Pentacles is take action. There's insecurities that are keeping you in a situation that you're not in love with. You need to have some discipline. You must take action. Another person does not complete you. You complete you. And when you get to this point of happiness, internal happiness, external happiness, you're good with who you are. You're, you're happy. You're single and you love it. You know your worth. You know your value. That's when the right they will bring this perfect match into your life. I think a lot of you are afraid to be single. You're afraid to go your own way. You're afraid of growing old alone. You're so you know you're staying in a situation where there's like there's no love. It's not the Ace of Cups reversed. It's not love. And it's like you're wasting your time, sacrificing yourself needlessly when there's an opportunity for extreme happiness. No kidding. Wish fulfillment. You have a major new beginning waiting for you to make a decision to break free from a toxic bond that you are not in love with. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. You could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Maybe you have a choice between two. You have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius here as well. But this is fear of being alone. I don't, I don't, I don't know if I can do it. I don't want to do it. I don't want to be alone. Come on now. Where's your strength? I mean, you are represented by the strength card. Either you got it or you don't. Knight of Cups reverse. It's, oh my goodness gracious. This is like no relationship growth. There's the, like there's a lack of romance. There's a lack of love. There's a lack of emotional fulfillment in a situation. Somebody is sacrificing themselves for a, it's almost like a loveless situation. Wasting their time. And I think there's another opportunity of love waiting for you. I know that there is. But you're going to have to face challenge.
find that strength. This is a card of strength. Don't let your doubts and your fears get in the way of your success. Look how far you've come so far. Find that determination to succeed, to go after wish fulfillment, okay? You have the skills to succeed. The problem is doubt and fear. I think somebody is in an unhappy situation. Maybe they're in an unhappy commitment. You know, they're not, you know, a relationship. Maybe even a marriage. Somebody's in, in Ten of Cups reverse. It's, it's like there's no happiness here and there's certainly no growth. Or we have a single person that is not really focused on finding somebody else. It's like you want it, but you don't want to put yourself out there. King of Pentacles reverse. Some of you are dealing with an earth sign, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn that doesn't really have anything to offer you. They're probably not financially stable. Or they're not, they're too focused on their money. They're too focused on their job. They're focused on everything but love. They're focused on everything but a relationship. They're not engaged in having a relationship. And there's an opportunity for you to step into a new life. No joke with that world card. But you have to make a decision. You have to make a decision. You have to make another choice. You have to, you, and you have to stick to it. You might have to try some new things. You might have to work a little harder. You might have to make some compromises. There's fear. The Knight of Swords reversed. There's fear. There's fear of making compromises. There's fear of change. There's fear of, you know, will I even be able to work together with this person in the future? For some of you that are in this commitment already, you know, there's fear of loss. There's fear of financial loss. Fear of, you know, there are always lack of confidence here. Lack of confidence, lack of courage. A lot of worry, depression, anxiety, fear. You're going to have to face your circumstances. Don't let yourself be a victim. We have victim mentality here. Step out of that victim mentality and face your fears, Leo. There's fear of, of being alone, fear of putting yourself out there. Fear, wor Maybe you're worried about whatever, but if, who's going to see you if you put yourself out there? Who gives a shit? It's time to come out of this darkness and face your fears. Don't let the vic your cir your vic your circumstances, the victim of your, your this is victim of your circumstances. Don't let your circumstances hinder your success. Find your strength. There's sadness. There's a lot of sadness here. Somebody is in a loveless relationship where there's no, there's, it's like it's not compatible. I mean, I'm, I can't make it up. I'm sorry. And, and it's like they're fearing being alone, fearing not having somebody, really worried about what everybody else is going to say as well. We all make mistakes. Anyway, I feel as though, you know, there's a partnership, a union, a relationship that really just isn't, I can't, I can't pretend, okay? But somebody's here trying to, this is somebody pretending, no shit. That is the meaning of this card, pretending that it's love, okay? This is pretending, this is not love, this is not love, this is not love, this is not love. This is not love. 
but it's somebody. Two of Cups reversed, Ten of Cups reversed, Knight of Cups reversed, Ace of Cups reversed. And I don't want to be alone. I want somebody, anybody. Find your strength, find your confidence. It's time. It's time to step over that finish line. It's time to start your new life. It's time for your major new beginning. It's time for you to complete this cycle. It's time for you to learn this lesson, whatever it is. You know what it is. It has to do with self-worth. This person doesn't have self-worth, doesn't have self-respect, doesn't have self-esteem. No shit. Step over that finish line. Find your strength to complete this chapter in your life where there isn't love, okay? Because there's an opportunity for wish fulfillment and for you to have a deep bond with somebody. This is a deep, deep, deep bond with somebody. You will find it. This is a blessing. There's a blessing coming. There is hope for happiness. But you have to make the decision to break free from this unhealthy situation. Yeah, you're going to have to make some compromises. You're going to have to work with other people. You're going to have to do some things that you may have never done before. But... Wish fulfillment will come. This is renewal. This is hopes and wishes will be fulfilled. Not only that, you will find peace of mind. Peace of mind when you break free from this toxic situation. I mean, that in itself is huge. So if you are single, you may meet somebody this month. Okay, you may, because this is, this is, this could happen, this Nine of Cups reverse, that is, you could, if you're single, you could be meeting somebody that you may have a deep soul connection with at any time. If you, for a lot of you, you you keep on looking back at the past and you're stuck. Some of you are, are in denial. You're pretending that you're in a love situation when you're not. It's somebody, it's somebody, it's just somebody to touch, right? Um... There's an opportunity to heal from this situation. You will heal. You will heal. And you will get exactly once you, what you want. Once you face your fears, let go of your pride, let go of your ego. And it doesn't matter what anybody else says. We all make mistakes. So, Leo, I feel as though... You need to let somebody help you, whether it's a family member or it's your friends or whatever. Help, Let them help you get through this difficult situation, whatever it is. You have support. And you have somebody else that's better suited for you. You do. That's what this card says. You have, and this is somebody who is, is, is very, very much better suited for you. This is an exciting opportunity. You're going to be receiving a message or an invitation from somebody that could really excite you and lead you down a new path with somebody who is ready to love, who is available to love, but you have to break free from a toxic situation first and not look back, and that's all there is to it. So there's going to be an invitation or a message that comes in that excites you. Whether you take it or not, you know, that, 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 that's up to you. Whoever this person is that's sending you a message, it's like they, they want to work with you. They, wanna, they want to, they will put in effort. They, they will support you, put it that way. But you have to make a decision first. That, that's right here, the Seven of Cups. Make a decision and stick to it. Wish fulfillment is right around the corner, but you have to, you have to do something. You have to break a bond, break free from something. That is what this is, something that is not healthy for you. Face your fears. Face your demons. Face your ego. Face your pride. Yeah, we all make mistakes. Every single person in this world does. Just swallow your pride, chalk it up to a lesson learned with that world card, and 
move on. You have somebody that is better suited for you, that is going to be communicating. That's what I see. But it's after you break free. Once you make that decision and you break free, that's when the communication comes in. That's what I got. Good luck.